Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Anand Digasman, and our topic for today is subsets of a line for grade 7, quarter 3. So a line is an important concept in mathematics. In geometry, a line is perfectly straight one-dimensional figure extending infinitely in both directions. So there are two subsets of a line in geometry, so namely segments and rays. So let's talk about first the line segment. So it is a subset of a line that has two endpoints. So meaning to say it has definite size. So it, although this is one dimension, so it can be illustrated in this, okay, line segment and J. So it can be written as line segment and J. Take note that there is a line segment, okay? It has endpoints on both sides. Okay, between the letters N and J. Next, it can be read as line segment and J. So, the real application is example plus we have a table and the edge of the table is considered as the segment or line segment. Okay, let's move on now to the ray. So, ray is a subset of a line that begins with an endpoint and extends endlessly in one direction. So, let's consider this. So, we have, okay, points D and G. So, if we will connect this one, okay, the endpoint is at point D and extend endlessly to one direction. So, that is the direction of G. So, this can be read as ray DG, which is denoted by, okay, ray DG. Take note. So, we start from the end point. Okay. Next, opposite rays are two collinear rays with the same end point. So, let's consider this example. So, we have, okay, uh, points Y, D, G are collinear points, okay, such that Y and G or D is between the points Y and G. So, we can say that D or uh, ray D, Y and ray DG are described as opposite rays if and only if they are subsets of a line segment and have a common endpoints. Take note that the common endpoint of ray DG and ray DY is a point D. So let's have our activity number one. So the direction is tell whether each of the following represents a segment or a ray. So let's consider number one, the light beam from LCD projector. So this is actually a ray. Okay. Next, number two, a piece of crayon. So crayon has a definite length. So we have actually a segment. Next, number three, a basketball bat. A basketball bat has definite size or length. So again, this is actually a segment. Let's move on to number four. So the direction of a travel arrows. So this is a ray. And finally, a piece of a chalk. So a piece of a chalk has definite size. So therefore, this is a segment. So let's move on to activity number two. So that is, okay, we draw the following. So number one, ray AB. Now in order to draw ray AB, so we will consider the letters A and B. So put them together. And we start with the end point A, going to the direction of B. So this is, okay, ray AB. Next, number two. Line segment PJ, again, consider the two points P and J, put them together, and draw a line segment above P and J. So, number three, line segment RX. So, it is like this, okay, in number two, so again, we have letters R and X, and put a line segment above the letters R and X. Number four, ray YP. So we have YP, I start with the endpoint Y, going to the direction of P. Next, 
Number 5. Raise I, H, and I, J are opposite 3. So there are two ways to do this. So again, since the common okay, end point is the point okay, I. So let's put I in the middle. I. So we can have here H. And the other side is J. So clearly, we can say that Okay, ray IH is opposite to ray IJ. Okay, on the other way around, so I can draw like this. So I have here still I in the middle. Then we have H and J. Okay, so you can see that, okay, that is IH and ray IJ are actually opposite rays. So let's move on to activity number three. So use the figure below to enumerate the following. So this is the figure. So we have actually the points R, P, and G are collinear. So name at least two rays shown in the figure. So let's write. So I can have here ray PR. Okay. And the other one is ray P G. Okay. And there are other possible answers. So since we need to write only at least two rays, so we have ray P R and ray P G. Next, name all the line segments shown in the figure. So okay. So we can have line segment R P. Okay, or line segment PR is the same. Next, so line segment PG and finally line segment RG. By the way, this is okay, line segment RP is the same as line segment PR. Okay, they have the same measurement as well as line. Segment PG is the same as line segment GP. Okay? They are actually the same. Okay? As well as line GR is the same as line segment RG. Okay? So, that ends our discussion on subsets of a line. So, again, this is Teacher on the next month. So, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.